Ready for some Smurfy video game showcase? <laughs> Hefty sure looks pumped for this, in today's episode of Destination Nostalgia. We start off with two classic Game Boy games of the Smurfs. Both star Hefty, the strongest Smurf and main protagonist, who rescues the other Smurfs from the dastardly sorcerer, Gargamel. The differences are that only the Smurfs Nightmare has the option for color, as shown here, and is a bit longer to play. Just be aware that both can be on Smurfy on hard difficulty levels. Save states are recommended for inexperienced players. In 1999, we have the PS1 version of the Smurfs. It is a 2.5D platformer in addition to interacting with Baby Smurf. What's different here are that the game's difficulty is on a slightly easier side of things. Voice talent and video cutscenes are present, obviously and music scores and graphics feel charming for a game this generation. All three games I showed you earlier were published by Infogrames, but only the PS1 version is developed by Helio Game based in Lyon, France, which changed the name to Doki Danki Studio, starting with Tigger's Honey Hunt. While the Game Boy versions were under Bit Manager's Court, and that's based in Barcelona, Spain, and yes, there are more Smurfs games under the Ubisoft era, but that one's worse for the franchise, so I decided to skip that. We will showcase more Smurf titles after the break. At TMP Cyberlink Studios, possibilities are endless, with inspiration from up to 50 different companies slash franchises. We make speculations of intriguing slash family friendly dreams, hopefully to come to reality in the near future. Please help support our channel by giving a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon, and check out our community tab to experience destination nostalgia like never before. Moving on to the Microids era, we have the Smurfs Mission Vileaf and the Smurfs 2 The Prisoner of the Greenstone, both developed by Awesome Studio in Lyon, France. The differences are you can play up to four highlighted Smurfs in respective missions depending on various chapters. While the second game performs better with Unreal 4, the first one seems more fitting as far as challenges go. The second one feels like Ratchet and Clank, and it has time challenges that I personally do not like. Nevertheless, I ended up getting the Platinum for both games. Their respective music scores, voice talent, and graphics perform a decent job, worthy enough to add to my PS5 collection. However, there is one PS5 Smurfs game that I find better than the last two. And it's the- OOPS! Well, actually, I do want to showcase this masterpiece as well. It is a one-of-a-kind 3D platforming game about an adorable but heroic bot who is poised to rescue other bots the Mothership, and the Precious Processor Unit from the evil space bully Nebulix. This game receives an outstanding Metacritic score of 94, with top-notch graphics, controller features, gameplay mechanics, and other fascinating references that put other game titles on a tighter budget to shame. And I thought to myself, without this magnificent game title, there would be no strong inspiration for Adobe Console as far as top-notch performance goes. And Astrobot is no exception. 
So after much praise and by popular demand, I would rate this game 100 out of 10. Now, <clears throat> where was I? Oh yes, the new Smurfs game, for real this time. One or up to two players can experience vibrant slash colorful worlds of Smurfs dreams galore. This game feels like Super Mario 3D World, except for being short, but having more freedom to explore with unlimited time. It really feels unique to various dreams of the Smurfs, especially Vanity Smurfs Mirror Level, testing your platforming skills with mirror effects. The overall music scores and gameplay mechanics feel unique as well. Unlike the last two Smurfs games, this game is developed by Ulsless Services in Lyon, France, using Unreal Engine 5. Kinda think of it, this developer reminds me of Taurus Games, French style. So, what are your opinions and rankings for mentioned video game titles? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you, Nostalgia Seekers, for your attention and watching this video. We'll see you next time, as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia.